are on. All right, welcome everybody. We're hosting tonight Sizzle since uh, <laughs> Romy and Mark are part of the leadership in yeah. California, enjoying the nice warm weather. Um, We're Jeff and Christy. <laughs> Jeff and Christy Jackman, J4 Oilers, and we are part of Heather Freeman's team, who her sister Dana is presenting tonight, and Dana has a wonderful presentation that she's going to do regarding the heart of doTERRA, and we all know how awesome doTERRA is. I mean, that's just a given, but this highlights everything else they do to make the world a better place. It's not about the products. It, it's, it's about doTERRA, the heart of doTERRA. Absolutely. Yeah. And before we get started, is anybody else jealous about everybody down at leadership right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, well, next year we will all be there. Deal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's make it a date. All right. So, Dana, you ready? All right, we'll turn it over to you then. <laughs> okay, let me share my screen. Let's see. Where's my button? And Okay, so I'd just like to welcome everybody. Thanks for all of you who are logging on tonight. And the presentation I'm gonna do is kind of on the heart of doTERRA. And I was actually asked to put this together by one of my advocates who wanted to bring some people to a class and have me, instead of teaching the normal oil class that I would normally do, she really just wanted me to touch on everything that doTERRA does outside of selling oils. And so that's what this presentation is based on. So I named it the heart of doTERRA. And so for doTERRA's mission, it resonates with me a lot because I love that they have established a standard in the essential oil industry. And they are committed to providing the highest quality, the purest oils and the way that they guarantee that to us is by their branding, which is called CPTG, Certified Peer Therapeutic Grade. And that's their promise to us that they are doing everything in their power to ensure that whatever oil or product they give to us, it is the, has the highest quality and is the best that we can breathe in, put on our skin, or take internally. I love their direct selling model. I've been in a lot involved in a lot of network marketing companies, and this is by far the best I have ever seen. I absolutely love their individual approach. Most network companies, our job is to sell, 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 have a party to get more parties and to sell more and sell more. And this is about everybody's base health. And I love that I can share just ways to increase your wellness in your own household and all you're doing is exchanging doTERRA products with something that you already purchased. So you're not really selling, you're just sharing better wellness with people. And I love the income opportunity that they've created. There's a lot of wonderful companies out there, but I absolutely love their business model. And we all know that we have a lot of advocates that are sharing. And for those of you that are new and, and haven't heard of essential oils before, we're well over 4 million, moving on towards 5 million accounts of people who use essential oils around the world, and that doesn't even include retail sales. So why do Terra? Why pick this company over another company? For me, it was the first company that I was introduced to. So it's, it's the one that I know about, but it's the one that I've come to love the best. I know for me, my personal why of using doTERRA is that I feel the effects immediately. The first time I ever used a doTERRA product, I was in the middle of the most extreme head tension imaginable. 
I stopped by Heather's house to use a couple products. I used deep blue and past tense, and within five minutes, I felt about 50% better than I normally would. Usually that pain would have lasted into the next day. So it was an immediate effect, and I feel that every time I use the oils. The service I receive is the best I've ever experienced in the customer service industry. I absolutely love all of the like-minded friends that I've met along the way. I continue to meet more friends and those that I've made have just become some of the best friends I will ever have. And I know because of this business that, that ties us together, those friends are gonna be with me for the rest of my life. And I think that is so awesome to know that you have those people to lean on where you might not in your normal life. One of my other favorite whys, those that know me, is my passion to share and truly help people with their overall wellness. And that's the first thing I do. I'm a huge sharer of oils. I give a ton of product away. You don't have to do that. That's my choice because I absolutely love to share. And I'm always you know, listening for that person that needs help so that I can help them. And then just the opportunity to share um, better uh, fulfillment of self or wealth. And so as that last bullet says, I could go on, but I think you can kind of understand my why. Maybe my computer will work. Maybe not. Whoops. Boy, it just kind of totally looped me out of there. I mean, go back in. And it totally shut down my PowerPoint, so I apologize. One second. Kind of crazy that it did that. Okay, so one of the things that I like to share is, no, well, it's not going to even play tonight. Okay, we're going to bypass the videos. I had a video of um, a doTERRA video, but it's not going to play. Um, So the science of doTERRA, and I'm just going to back up um, out of full screen mode. Can you give me a wave of your, can you see me? We can't, we can see you. We can't see your screen. It's still not showing. It's really weird. All of a sudden I thought, hmm, not seeing anybody. So let me see why that's happening. Like I said in the beginning, sometimes my internet is stable or unstable. We'll try it again. How about now? Yep, it's coming up. Okay. Now I can see it, not in presenter mode, but I can see your PowerPoint. Okay, perfect. So let me just get back to B and we'll, we'll try it again. Hold on here, from, forget the little first video. For new people, I so I don't think it's important for. Always like, and it's just doing a thing. I'm not even touching them, so who knows what's going on? So I just wing it. Well, um, maybe the video. Now oh, let's see if it does. Nope. Okay. So the science of doTERRA. I love to share about their science because I don't know any other company where you really get to learn the behind the scenes efforts that go into having an oil that we get to use on our skin. And so I love that their science hinges on covering and developing the world's highest therapeutic grade essential oils. And I love that they have a scientific advisory board. And if you haven't gone on to the doTERRA.com website to read about some of the owners or join some of their Facebook pages, that's a really great way to just get to know the owners and the people that are on their expert panels to see you know, kind of what their interests are. And they have 10 science experts. They have four medical advisors that are on the board. And then they have a large medical advisory panel of eight people. And I think it's wonderful that they continue to um, have highly expert people 
on those panels to bring us the highest education of the oils. So with their branding, they go through many different testing methods. And that just ensures the efficacy and the potency of the oil. By the time the oil goes from the grower to the distiller to us, the consumer, they've done everything they can to prove that that oil and test that oil that has you know, no toxins, no fillers, nothing that could cause an adverse effect. And if I remember correctly from um, our last convention, the reports were that the adverse effects that have been reported are less than zero, zero, a couple more, and just very few. So we know we're getting just one of the best oils possible. And just the fact that they source the oils all around the world from leading uh, essential oil growers and the chemists that are involved and people that have been working with these oils for many, many generations, they understand the plants. And I absolutely love that. So I'm just going to kind of skip along here. Um, I love the education partners that they partner with to continue to do research on the oils, that is the new oils to pass. They work with a lot of partners, which are referenced here on the slide. I won't read them out loud, but just know that they work with a lot of different partners. When it comes to sourcing, I find it really interesting. This is a lady um, sourcing a picture of a Lang Lang. And one thing that doTERRA has done in kind of a response to us wanting to know more about where the oil comes from is that they've created a fantastic, innovative website that we can use. So it's a public website, so anybody can use it. And what happens is the website is five and so you can choose to learn about the types of growers they source from, the distillers that are used, the scientists, the practitioners. And then the U-Box is when we can actually look on the bottom of our oil bottle and find a lot more information about it. So I did a little research. I um, had to search through my oils to find one number that would be accepted into this right now because the oils aren't in the system if they were bottled before May of 2016. So I pulled up one of my newer um, bottles of Roman chamomile and found that it was in the system. So I've entered my lot number there and it brings up a picture of the Roman chamomile once you hit enter. And you can find this location on that source you website it's in the little drop down menu that's in the top right corner. There's a little click of a button there. And then from this page, we are able to watch a little video about the science of doTERRA. And the, what I really like is the PD you can get. And then it comes from the oil universe, who's the third tester for doTERRA. Dr. Pappas has signed his signature at the bottom that this is a true report on Roman chamomile that has been sourced and is in my bottle of oil. And you can show, see the different lines on that graph representing the different properties of that oil and it represents the different things that the, that the doTERRA scientists are looking for to ensure that that particular batch efficacy that they're looking for before they provide it to us. So what exactly is an essential oil? Let's see if we can get this video to play. They're not playing in full screen mode. So that video is available on the doTERRA.com website. It's also one of the three videos that's available on any wellness advocates retail website that you can view. When, we, when I talk to people about doTERRA as a whole company, share about corporate social responsibility, and I kind of deemed it their outreach, their help, and their hope. It starts with a nonprofit organization that they've created called Pink Hands. And it focuses on different efforts around the world that are not good. doTERRA corporate 
percent of the operating costs to run programs, but a hundred percent of the donations that are done through the wellness advocates such as myself are one hundred percent put back into the outreach efforts that they do through this foundation. So that when we know we're donating money, every penny that we donate goes into there's no operating costs that are taken out. We do this many ways. We have an account. You can choose to do a dollar donation every month on the order. You can also go to the Healing Hands website and you can donate different monetary amounts, whether it's monthly, weekly, yearly, whatever you choose. That's open to the public as well, which I really think is a fantastic thing to be able to do to find a place to donate. It's going very worthy is in this case. And then the other thing they do is they have two products available that you can purchase. It's a $20 flat, flat, flat fee for each of those products. And 100% of those sales go into the back in hands. Is those lotion. You can't use oil. You can be able to get through the road. And, and the other thing I'll talk about here in just a little bit. things that they do through the Healing Hands Foundation co-impact sourcing and it's a way to bring communities together in the areas where the oils are sourced and it helps those areas to develop economic growth it helps create um, time payments um, for the members and last partnerships gone into areas and able to cut out the demand so that they're working directly with the growers with um, contracts just between them and the grower and we pay the terra pays top dollar for the oil but it's it's it helps put that money back into those communities in so many different ways and there's a little video that you can watch i won't even it because but it kind of shows what the co-impact sourcing does within a community. Oh, hey, it popped up. Let's go ahead and watch that just in case if some people haven't seen that. Works. Maybe that's stable. Enough. Hold on. Another way the Healing Hand money is donated is through the micro credit loans. And what this does is it helps some entrepreneurs that are in these developing communities. It gives them this opportunity to have small loans that they can further their business that they're trying to start. It also helps fund clean water projects. It helps build and revitalize schools and clinics and it helps to find medical equipment in the needed areas. And I love some of the hygiene efforts that they're doing with girls. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Mentor National other family they've partnered. And this is how the micro lending monies are funneled and, and um, captured through this company. And so it gives the credit to those who would otherwise not have those financing opportunities. It makes sure that those loans are safe and that they're not um, making contracts with crooks who would want to steal their money. And it helps alleviate some of the poverty and put money back into their communities, into their family, into their communities. And I also love that there's no prejudice. It's whoever needs that loan when they apply and are approved, they get that loan. It, it doesn't matter, you know, what your religion is, where you come from. And I think that that is so wonderful in this day and age. And I'm sure grandma and girls and leave this, their story was shared a couple of years ago at convention. Um, she makes tacos at lunch and people stop by her little home. Um, I think that's the story. There is a true story out there about that. Um, but it just shows that, you know, through Microloan, this family is able to, they 
can to support themselves to help provide lunch for people, food for people. Days for Growth, another fantastic partner doTERRA has um, with um, 2000, and it helped bring hygiene solutions to girls in all of these rural areas and countries. And, you know, in these areas, not a lot of sanitation opportunities. And so the girls are given these little bags as shown in this picture with the sanitary supplies. It also gives them a little sack to carry around their school supplies. But they go through different education about uh, feminine hygiene. And they're in 75 countries around the world helping girls. Help strengthen the these girls who are confident about growing women in their countries. And it support them so that are they are taught that they too are equal. And a lot of that education isn't given to them. There's a lot of oppression in a lot of these areas. We'll see if I can get through this one without crying. Um, Operation Underground Road is one of the most recent um, endeavors to partner with. And it's a company that has established abolished, abolished um, sex trafficking of children. And it's, it's currently made up of former CIA, Navy, Navy SEALs, and special ops um, people. And they help to coordinate, coordinate and identify where children have been compromised in, in areas that they could then compromise. And they put teams together to extract these children. It takes many months to prep for each extraction because they have to, there's so many things they have to do to put in place. Um, and so I just wanted to give you a little quote. This is actually off of their website. Um, but they have this and it promise children. We pray for you. We say, all night is an end. Hold on, we are on our way. And to those actors and players, even you monsters who dare offend God's precious, ch precious children, we declare to you, be afraid. We are coming for you. And if those men in that background of that photo were coming for me, I'd be afraid. Unfortunately, the little video I had um, to play is tonight to the hour website, and you can watch it. Um, it's a very cool little video. It just goes through all of their stories for 2016. And I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head. It goes through their different operations and tells you um, how many people were arrested, how many were good. And I think it's absolutely astounding to see what the numbers are. And you don't think that it's happening in your, your, um, your own backyard. And so since the video is not, I'm going to just share a quick story of why I, if I would support one organization or terrorist support, it would be one overall. In December, um, we heard from my mom, a friend's daughter, and the two grandchildren who were um, at an hour from here during all of our snow, just right before or right after Christmas, I think it was Christmas and New Year's, and their plane was delayed. They were going out on vacation, and so they booked a hotel, very nice hotel, right by the airport. They had a dinner. They were in the restaurant, and the staff and the bartender were extremely attentive, overly attentive, a creepy, wanted to give her a special drink and the bartender made it and they were really offended that she wouldn't drink the drink. So she took it to go because they wouldn't you know, lay off her. She got up to her room, called a, a local friend in Portland who is an attorney and this attorney said, oh my gosh, you are so lucky. The youngest daughter, 15, said they were trying to steal, was probably drugged and they would have stole her, stolen her. I, apparently there's a huge trafficking ring up in the Portland area and they target the hotel guests that are close to the river because they can snap the children and five minutes they're on a boat in the water and they're gone and you don't get them back. 
they became involved with FBI to help out. And unbeknownst to them, their efforts to help track down one of the people involved in the, the ring of men that were at this restaurant. Um, he was arrested at one of our local grocery stores here in Salem, which is two miles from where I work. And when they searched his apartment, which was found three girls that he was in the country, two 10 year olds and an 11 year old. So this is in our backyard and everybody needs to pay a lot more attention than we do. It's very scary when you, when you know it's happening right next door. So what can we do to have, so the thing right now would be to go through the human hands. And you can do that either monetarily or doTERRA has made a brand new oil that they now distribute on the streets through the our organization to the areas where they feel there may be compromised children. And it's a very special bottle. It looks different than the one on the screen. Um, the one that you see on the screen is the one that we can go ahead and purchase now, retail or wholesale. The one that gets distributed on the street is fantastic. It has a peel back label with contact information. The oil smells wonderful because the, the people who steal these children and want to do them harm want them to smell really good. And the oil does smell good. So in my mind, they're not going to take that bottle away because it's like a bottle of perfume. But children are curious. So they're going to peel that label that says peel here for directions. And under there, there's fantastic com uh, contact information. Um, for them to reach out to somebody in the hope um, or in the, our organization. And my hope is that a child who gets a bottle in their hands has an opportunity to make that contact to be rescued. What else can we do? The hope oil, it's a combo of bergamot, frankincense, and alang alang. And the feelings that it can help provide a person are the feelings of confidence, of hope, of optimism. It helps to reveal deceptions and false truths, freedom. It helps heal the heart, and it helps release emotional trauma that has happened in the past. And so we can help other people outside of, of the reason why this oil was made by purchasing this oil, sharing this oil with people that we come in contact who need a little bit of help, who need some mental stability in, in helping them deal with the things that they're going through. A delicious oil if you haven't gotten it yet. What about wellness advocates? I mean to be a wellness advocate. To me it means pay it forward. And what doTERRA has done before, let me back, we pay it forward by being able to share better health and wealth with people um, through the oils. But what does doTERRA do for the advocate? And I love this, um, that wellness advocate, we can actually partner and travel and donate our time in some of these areas where doTERRA partners with Healing Hands, projects all over the world. We can go help build structures that are damaged. We can help build clinics and schools and bathrooms and put in those clean water systems. We can help replant crops. There's a ton of other opportunities if you go to the doTERRA.com website. Just a few photos of different efforts we've already done. And just read some of those. It look like just cuddling an infant and just adding that human touch, um, repainting, all sorts of different things that we can do to involved. So if you do your, you know any a person who just to volunteer the time and can can go somewhere you can get on the doTERRA.com website, website and find out more information about volunteering and I can't wait for the day to be able to do that. doTERRA also helps their own and what they've done is they've created a free to give program and this is a way wellness app to have a whole system can get up so many of us are in and being indebted hard is full on our and it, it tends to consume us and we can't think of anything else. 
projects. And so they developed a program that we can join and follow along to help us get out of debt, whether that's through building the business or not, it's a way to help us. And I absolutely love that. So we're all just things up at the global print of, of where healing hands has kind of been on the world. We can see by the orange dots on this photo where the co-impact sourcing has happened. We can see the specific healing hands projects around the world by the green dots. And the first dots represents the wellness advocates where we've been able to go and donate our time to give back to some of those communities who are growing those absolutely wonderful oils that we're able to use. And I'm walking up again. Just got a couple slides left. So in this video, it talks, are you ready for anything? And so I ask you, are you ready for anything? You want to get, start, get started with some motivate essential oil because it will motivate you to find out what you're ready for. And that's it. We're done. Let me stop my screen sharing. Here we go. Thank you, Dana, for sharing that excellent presentation. We learned a lot. That was Thank awesome. You. Absolutely loved it. Great yeah. job. Thank you. Anybody have any questions about anything? I think we're all, most of us are versed. I you know, usually teach, hoping to teach, I've taught that class once and, or the presentation once, and I hope to um, teach it to more people in the future. Um, from the perspective that they don't know anything about doTERRA. So um, if you have any suggestions, that would be great because we want to continue to perfect it. You are welcome, everybody. If nobody has any questions, I bet Kenzie, we're about ready to draw an oil. Yeah, we got a giveaway for tonight. Ooh, we can't forget the giveaway. We almost forgot last week. What did you say? We almost last week to give oil away. So we can't. <laughs> I know. So this week we're giving away a Melaleuca. So the winner tonight is Melinda. So Melinda, Yay. if you will send me a message, I'll get your address and get this in the mail to you tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. It's not from me, but I get to send them out, so it kind of yeah. feels the same. <laughs> there you go. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for all the thank yous in the chats, too. Thanks for joining tonight. I appreciate it. <laughs>